Welcome, Cancer, to your weekly reading. This is for the 4th to the 11th of September. We're going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Cancer, I'm going to start off by looking at the first row as the possible energy beginning the week. The second row is going to be the area that you should focus on. The third row is the unexpected energy coming in. The fourth row is messages and advice from spirit. And finally, our fifth row is the possible outcome of the week. Cancer, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. We're going to start off here with the moon energy and we're looking at the possible energy beginning the week. And I'm just going to go ahead now and get your clarifier. Right, let us see now what the moon energy is for Cancer, please. What is this moon energy? Let's see what we have, Cancer. The Six of Wands. So you have the Six of Wands coming in twice. At the beginning of the week and at the end of the week. Now Cancer, when I get a card twice in a reading, the energetic power and the significance of the card now doubles. So we see that this week, the energy of victory, the energy of success and accomplishment is very prevalent for you. The moon is telling me that for any of my Cancerians who have been feeling very unsure, insecure and doubtful about a certain area of their life. Now, Cancer, this could be any area. It could be how you're feeling in a particular relationship how you're feeling in a job or your business or your career or family life, please take it where it might resonate. The big energy we are getting, that this energy of feeling so unsure, not knowing where you stand, what's going on, what's happening, we get the energy of great success happening for you. Can you see how he sits on his horse? on top of a hill, already telling me that you're rising up above this situation. On his head, he wears the victory wreath, and in his hand, he carries the wand of infinite possibility and the victory wreath. There is an energy here of not only you accomplishing something, but the feeling goes much deeper with him wearing the wreath. The feeling is something of like a personal victory, a personal win. It's something that is obvious to others, but more importantly, my dear Cancerians, it's something you're going to feel like, gosh, I'm there, I'm breaking through, I'm having this victory, this win that is so important to me. Very positive energy. Now let's see who or what the emperor energy is that is sitting in the area that you should focus on. Right, let us see now who or what is the emperor for cancer, please. The Ten of Swords. Cancer this Ten of Swords energy could very well relate to our Moon energy. Ten of Swords tells me about the energy of a sudden and quite a shocking ending for you. It's the energy of man or woman down, right? Being caught when you least expect it, but being hurt with it. This could be the energy of somebody lying to you betraying you, a sudden end of a relationship or a situation, anything like that. 
This situation, cancer, could have happened recently or it could have even been a few months, perhaps even a year or two ago. But it's the energy that really caught you and you had to work yourself up from it. And perhaps that's what left you feeling so insecure and doubtful. Can you see here in this card, we have the light coming up here, pushing back the darkness, pushing back this darkness here. There is something clearing up for you. Cancer, the big energy this week is that you need to focus on how far you have come since this has happened. The emperor energy is telling me you have learnt, you have grown, you have expanded in ways you need to look at and you need to acknowledge because this experience has actually really done something in terms of your own personal growth. We are seeing that you have been through an incredibly tough period. And with that, you persevered, you hung in there, you did the work. Whatever that was for you, but you did the work. Because you are now coming through harnessing our emperor energy, telling me. You've got the wisdom about you now. This experience has grown you in ways, and I'm not even sure you realize it. And you need to focus on how far you have come. So it's a very strong energy. And it is an energy as well of accomplishment. Because you need to look at how you have taken great strides forward in this particular situation. Now let's see who or what the Queen of Cups energy is that is sitting in your unexpected Let us see now what the Queen of Cups energy is for Cancer, please. Six of Swords. Cancer, you are presenting as Queen of Cups. It doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the card we are talking about. Unexpectedly, my dearest Cancers, you are moving right out of this Ten of Swords energy. You are leaving it now, finally and completely, and you're moving on to a far better and easier time. Whatever this energy was for you, and however much you felt it, of course this is going to be different for all my Cancers, you must know with Six of Swords coming in, you leave this rough choppy waters, which is the hard time of Ten of Swords, and you shift right on out. You're going to feel the alleviation of this energy this week. You're going to feel like, wow, okay, I feel it. There's been a shift. There's been a change. Very nice to see because not only are you going to focus and realize how strong you have become, but you're actually going to feel it this week that there is a complete shift in energy that you're starting to feel and see the changes. Now we want to see what our Seven of Cups energy is that is sitting in messages and advice from Spirit. Right, let us see now what the Seven of Cups energy is for Cancer, please. The Chariot, that's your card. What a lovely message coming through here, Cancer. Seven of Cups is telling me that your dreams are all intact. Meaning that whatever you have always dreamt, wished and prayed for is still there. Is still up there in the spiritual plane of possibility. Nothing has been taken from you. Nothing has disappeared. You might have gone through a period where you were incredibly hurt, unsure and doubtful. However, spirits coming in and saying in that time, all that happened was your dreams just remained up in the spiritual plane. 
Now Spirit wants to tell you, you have great possibility of bringing these dreams down onto the physical plane and seeing your dreams manifest and actualize. Chariot is telling me that once you release out of this energy, which we see this happening this week, a dramatic shift out of this cancer. We see this now coming through for us twice. Chariot is telling me you are full steam ahead into the next episode of your life where you can focus on your seven of cups and bringing them down. Chariot is the card of cancer, so it's a lovely confirmation for us. It is also a fast moving card, as you can see with the pace these horses are galloping. And it's a success card. So now we have three very powerful and very definite energies of success coming through. You moving, shifting out of energy that no longer works for you, that has served its purpose. You are harnessing the strength of the emperor and there's going to be a significant change this week. Very positive so far. Let's see what your final six of wands energy is that is sitting in the possible outcome of the week. So we want to see now what the Six of Wands energy is for Cancer, please. The Ten of Wands. So Cancer, you have two tens coming out here. You have our Ten of Swords and our Ten of Wands. Now ten is a completion number which tells us the energy of the feeling of Ten of Swords is coming to an end. And Ten of Wands is another completion energy, which tells me this energy of being under such pressure, feeling that things are just not working, flowing and going for you, feeling like you're carrying the world on your shoulders, is coming to an end. So we have two Big, heavy endings happening for you and two cards really honoring the energy of feeling the release and the success that's coming through for you. You are going to feel these endings. You're going to feel that a chapter is closing off or is actually closed for you. And you're going to feel that you're moving onward into something that you know you're meant to be doing, where you feel the success in all areas of your life. Wow, Cancer, this is going to be an exceptionally good week for you. Let's go ahead and get your spirit animal for the week. So we just want to see now what Cancer's spirit animal is for the week, please. And you have got number 42, Otto Spirit, you are never alone. So the numbers 4 and 2 are your auspicious numbers for this week. Any combination or variation of these numbers, please consider very auspicious. The Otto is your spirit animal. So wherever the Otto comes up, this too is a blessed sign. And Cancer, you have such a beautiful message. You are never alone. And this is the energy of spirit letting you know that even when you go through these incredibly hard times, when things seem dark and uncertain, you need to always remember that spirit is with you, guiding you, loving you. And if ever you need them, all you need to do is ask. What a beautiful message. So my dear Cancers, that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.